This programme is very much interested in training designers to understand fabrication processes or understand how things are made and then use that understanding to make better design decisions. So the title of the project is Sloppy Topologies, Precise Datums and this work explores experiments in inflating sheets of steel. It's interested in how this unpredictable forming process could be explored or used where the outcome is quite uncertain. I'm not sure exactly what form will be made so I haven't made any attempt to predict that but then using high resolution 3D scanning, we can capture all that information and then I've made precise parts to fit with that. And that's about this combination of a low tolerance handmade process and a precise machined part coming together. My project's title is PTP, a robotic fabrication from point to point. We basically wanted to use a robot to perform a set of carpentry tasks in a seamless digital workflow. We had to create our own custom hardware in order to create unique three-dimensional prismatic joints that have the ability to self-line, self-lock and transfer forces from one element to another. There's always this feedback from the physical to the digital and vice versa. I think what I've most enjoyed is having hands-on access to relevant industry equipment, you know, high-tech facilities, being able to go into the workshop, design things, test things extremely quickly, having these feedback loops between designing and making with tools that yeah, you, I wouldn't otherwise normally have access to. I think the most unique part of this program was uh, that we had the opportunity to meet the different uh, tutors, technicians that have influenced my work and showed me how I can really make what I have in my mind. I had the opportunity to work in this uh, workshop, the new workshop at Here East. There are so many disciplines under the same roof, like computer scientists, engineers, architects, artists, that uh, we're all there in order to create and innovate and inspire one another. Taking in the constraints and parameters of the tools that exist in industry and understanding how they can be used instead of just designing something, sending it off to someone else to make, understanding how things are made, understanding how materials behave, understanding how tools work and the combination of those things leads to innovation.